Hello YouTube. Welcome to the fifth, I think it is, Java programming tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going over something that's called a modulus and what moduli, moduli, modulices, the plural of modulus is, or something, is, it's pretty much something that, um, that changes the value of a variable by modifying it, hence the name modulus. So I'm going to start out uh, by making several variables. I'm going to make these integers. And a neat trick in Java is when you're assigning values, well, if when you're declaring variables of the same type, for example, I want to make 5 integers or 20 integers or 100 integers, you don't actually necessarily have to go on and 20 times over type in integer x is equal to 5, integer y is equal to 7, so on. You could just do integer and then x comma y comma z and what I did right there was I just declared three integers um, I just uh, you just have to know that um, when you're declaring these variables they all have to be of the same type type being for example integer or double and so on so I'm gonna go ahead and make x5 actually no let's make it 20 and then let's make y equal 7 Seven. There we go. And let's. I'm just gonna go ahead and print out the value of x. Print line. Right. So there you go. I get 20. Now, um, neat method of always adding. For example, if always adding one to a number. For example, when you're doing a loop, you're Let's say you get 20, then you print it out, then you check if it's, for example, less than number. If it's not, then you add one and you print it out, and so on and so forth. So, uh, this method, is, in this method, you actually just type in the variable and do plus plus, and just end it with a semicolon as usual. And what this plus plus means is that you add the value of 1 to your variable. So, if I go ahead and print out x again, I get 21. And you guessed it, if I do the same thing with minus minus, I get 19 because I subtract 1. Now, when you go ahead and do, for example, x is equal to x plus 5, you took the old x, you added 5 to it, and you stored in the new x. But who wants to go ahead and type all of that up? when instead the great lazy people at Java gave us a better method of doing it by going x plus equals 5 but 5 and that right there is the same thing see so you took x you added 5 to it and then you stored it again in a new x and then I print it out and I get 25 and the same works with subtraction there you go and um, just the last thing I want to show you, um, it's a it looks like a percentage thing, and I will show you what it does right here. So let's say z is equal to x percent y. Now what this modulus does, right? What this modulus does is it actually takes the first number, divides it by the second number, but it doesn't actually get you what the um, the uh, what the answer is. It actually gives you the remainder. So what I did was I divided 20 by 7, got the remainder, and stored it in Z. So if I just print out Z, I get 6 because 20 divided by 7 is 14, but then uh, the remainder of 14 and, uh, from 20 is actually 6. And you could do the same thing. For example, I could do X and then modulus equal to and then Y. It's pretty much, I take x divided by y, and I get the remainder. So if I click run, you see, whoops, my bad. If I click run, you see that I get 6 again. Well, uh, thank you for watching this video, and I w in the next tutorial, I'll be going over on how to get user input from in Java. So uh, stay tuned, YouTube.